So the topic of today's sermon is the doctor. Back in the Buddha's time, there was a doctor who was a very kind-hearted man, very compassionate, very giving, very helpful to society. In a past life, he had seen a man coming in and out of the Buddha's temple many times. On the third time, he asked him, what are you doing? How come I see you go in and out of the Buddha's temple all the time? And he says, I am the official doctor of the Buddha. And then this man says, wow, that sounds so cool. I want to be that one day. Can I be that one day? And he says, go talk to the Buddha. So he went and talked to that Buddha. And after a long conversation, the Buddha said he would be one one day. So fast forward to our Buddha and he was born as a doctor named Chiwaka. He was a very famous doctor, fixed many diseases for many people, kings and lay people alike. He spent his entire life saving people and helping people. Then came one crucial moment. There was one moment in his life where he had to decide. All the monks were enlightened, all the pikunis were enlightened, everyone was enlightened, everyone was going to Nibbana but he wasn't enlightened at all. So he realized one day, either I stop helping people and I start practicing for myself, or I keep helping people. And he tried to decide, and it was very hard for him. He looked inside, he saw all the monks, the Buddha, the nuns, everyone's enlightened and free. He looks outside, Hundreds and thousands of sick people waiting for him, suffering, crying, help me, help me, doctor, help me. He himself wanted to be free. He wanted to go to enlightenment. He loved the Buddha. He loved the monks. He wanted to follow them. But his compassionate heart, he couldn't. So he decided to stay in the world for the rest of his life and help people instead. So guess what? Even to this day, he still has not become enlightened yet. He's still dying and being reborn and doing who knows what. Whereas he had the lucky opportunity to be born with the Buddha and he didn't go. Now, if we look at what he did that life, that was a great sacrifice. That was a great act of compassion. And I'm sure he got a lot of merit and bun from it. However, why are we creating merit? Why are we creating bun if we're not going to cash it in and buy our enlightenment? You work so hard to buy a car, save up all your money, and then when you have enough money, you keep working and don't buy the car? It doesn't make sense. You have to understand that we are being compassionate, being kind, making merit, helping people, so that we build up enough spiritual energy to have enough credit to be able to be worthy of enlightenment. But if we are too busy being good, then we forget why we're even doing it. So in this case, what would be the best scenario? You help people, you do your best. But what did the Buddha do? The first thing the Buddha did was he didn't help people he made sure that he became the Buddha first. He perfected himself first. Then, for the rest of his life, he spent it helping people. But for us, it's backwards. We're not perfect yet. We're not good enough yet. But we spend it helping other people first. And then when we finish, we still have nothing. So the wise man would spend their life and their time training yourself first. If you don't know how to swim, how are you going to save someone who's drowning? If you jump into the water not knowing how to swim, you're probably going to help kill them and kill yourself faster. So even though your heart is pure and in the right place, if you're not qualified, then it's not going to work. So remember, us first, be qualified. Then when you're finished, if it's time to help, then help. Otherwise, take care of yourself first.